Good morning guys and welcome to Mac Monday. Um, yeah, it's really nice sunny bright morning. It's like 6.30 in the morning if you hear the birds chirping. It's because I have my window open and my window is right there. So, um, yeah. So how's everybody doing? I am going to do, and I've decided that this week I was going to do my Mac Monday, my NARS Tuesday, yada, 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 but I was going to do it with a twist. I was going to have it geared specifically towards mothers. So, you know, something light, floral. Um, maybe we might do uh, kind of a sexy mom's day. I don't know. But I'm going to start out with, you can see I have on the floral top. <laughs> and I'm going to start out with kind of a light, a light eye but with bolder lips um not too bold though because we got a little floral here and a little lace detail going on i'm going to start out with max rule that's going to be my transition shade you move this bang out of the way so you can see what i'm doing here and that's i'm just going to pop that in right here along that transition area guys i used i'm looking over to the side because i have a mirror there I used a, um, all I used was Max Prep and Prime this morning. I did not put down a regular paint pot. So, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't do it on this eye, which is already made up, so I wasn't going to do it on this eye. Okay, but I've already, you know, primed my eyelid, my um, eyebrow with, my usual um, concealer. Now, what I'm going to do is dab into this like, kind of like a peachy frost color. And it is called Arena. I love Arena. It's, it's a neutral with a little bit of a pizzazz. And I think it would look really, I think it looks really nice with, um, more of a neutral eye and a bold lip and it's a nice all year round color but it's really nice paired with say if you're gonna do a peach a peach lip or an orange lip or um, a red orange lip you know something of that nature and excuse me if I'm rubbing my nose or if I might sneeze because you know what <laughs> I have allergies and I just took a Claritin so all right so that's motif and then guys, I dipped into, I love this, not motif, that's arena, I'm sorry. I dipped into next motif. Look at that. It's like a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty dual chrome. It, it, when you swatch it, it comes up kind of a, like a, comes up more pinky red, I think. But when you look at it in the pot, it's more of a yellowish color. So that, guys, is going to be my inner corner highlight. Just pop that in right here, right next to that arena. And it blends nicely with peach shades or pinky undertone shades. If you're, you have deeper skin tone, it makes a really nice inner corner highlight. See how that just brightened it up without looking too um chalky or white if you will it makes a really nice in a corner highlight okay and there you go that just brightened it up a little bit then for my crease guys this is a real simple eye for my crease i'm going to dip into this color burst color and this was a special edition it has the barbie head on it, it came out with that barbie edition um if you just use any kind of ready brown, almost like a deeper rust, that will do. And you know how I usually deepen up my outer corner? I didn't do that for this look. I did not do that for this look. Now, if you choose to, you can. You can do a brighter um, highlight for your brow bone. But again, I choose not to. And if I did do one, it would be uh, um, more of a matte 
because I'm not really keen on frosty highlights. You all know that. Okay. So this just kind of deepened that up a little bit, that orange up a little bit. Now, see, guys, to me, this is an orange rule, max rule. That's an orange that I could wear <laughs> on my eye. That other one, I just, I just couldn't. And a lot of you said that you liked it on me. And I thank you for that. <laughs> but I don't know. It, it was just a little bright for my liking. And I don't know that the camera was picking that up. Okay, so we still have that orange peeking through a little bit. And then you've got that beautiful highlight. And then you've got that uh, color burst just giving a slight, slight definition. Not, not a big definition, just a slight definition. So you have something that looks like that. And if you want to blend out that orange just a little more, you can do that. So that it looks really diffused. But still, it's still there. You know what I mean? It gives you that little added color. Then I'm going to go really bold, you all, and try to add this eyelash on again. You know, before I wasn't really wearing eyelashes too much. <laughs> um, and I'll be honest with you. In the summer, I'll wear it very sparingly because I do not, you know, with, with you sweating and all, I, you know. I don't want to be bothered with the eyelash coming loose and and having to reapply. I'm just putting my glue on the eyelash. Guys, and, and if I've mentioned, I believe I mentioned it before, one of my favorites, I am loving this eyelash adhesive. It's the dual brush on one. Love it. Okay. Let that get a little tacky. Yes, guys, I am actually going to, but I have to have a little mirror, try to do this with uh, you all watching. But you know, sometimes I'll just click off and come back on. So, I usually like it to get a little stickier than this, but for time's sake, no. Wow, guys. No, I didn't. That is really crazy. <laughs> I did not put on my um, liner. I'm as I'm putting this on. I'm like, wait a minute, something's missing. This is live, and it's not going to be edited out. Shit happens. <laughs> um, take the feline, line it. I'm thinking. I'm like, something looks a little crazy and a little bare up there, right? Guys, woo! It is a little bit too early for me to be trying to put on some makeup. Apparently, right? Have you ever had those moments where you're just sitting there, you're like, wait a minute, something's missing. Well, I just had a moment, such a moment. And I'm almost done with this. Okay, now we're starting to look a little bit better, guys. And ooh, it's just a tugging because I have the glue. Just a tugging. I'm sounding all country. Because I have on that uh, glue. Woo, guys. Okay, so we're going to fix that. I'm going to dip into, take my pencil brush, dip into my carbon. You know with feline, if you do not set it, you will feel it. If you do not set feline mm -mm. it's gonna be all over your face why didn't y'all let me know I didn't put that I didn't do my liner as I'm sitting there just talking Woo! 
And no guys, I am not going to edit that out because things happen. Okay, so now we're going to try this again. And I was trying so hard not to make this a two-parter that I have to put together because it's going to take longer to upload. I'm using this Canon, guys. It's going to take longer to upload. That's what I get for being in a rush. But I couldn't film it on Sunday because I was out enjoying the day. And by the way, I was doing some more tests with my, um, with my read camera. Wasn't a vlog per se, guys, but I took you all a couple of places because I wanted to test it in certain instances. Like the grocery store, driving. I just wanted to test it. So, you all are going to see some of the parts of downtown Cleveland. So I've got the eyelash on with the eyeliner <laughs> and we are done. Okay, so I did not put any blush on nor did I put on any lipstick obviously. So what I wanted to play around with today guys is this Lady Danger which is a ready orange very vibrant and I don't know if you all remember this I don't even know if they still make it anymore it's called Clish Clash I used to wear this actually by itself but I want to mix this Clish Clash guys mix with the lady the Clish Clash with the lady danger because I think um, red in a peach color that's Clish Clash it's a lip glass. I think those two would look so pretty together. So, and the lip liner that I'm going to use, guys, is red. So, let us just do the line on the lip. And I'm going to do something that uh, I do sometimes, you know. You all might have done it too, especially as a little kid. My mom didn't wear blush, so I used to take her lipstick when I was playing in her makeup and use that as my blush. And that is what I'm going to do today because like I share it with you all before I do not and I mean this I do not take um let's just fill in the lip I do not take makeup with me and definitely if you are going out for mom's day to dinner or whatever you might be taking a smaller purse and I'm just doing it really lightly guys not not a heavy not a heavy um, heavy uh, application of it this is Lady Danger Now, I like Lady Danger. Now, if you're thinking that this red is a little bit too bright for like this shirt that has red in it, but it's more of a truer red. This is an orangey red, but it also has like some kind of um, peachy colors in it too. So, like I said, I'm going to take this um, Clish Clash and you can do one of two things. You could just apply it to the center or you could apply it all over and I think I am going to apply it all over
takes it up a little notch. It makes it more of a um hmm. more of a orangey peachy color. Whoa. Now that is vibrant. And with these lip glosses, guys, I definitely have to make sure that I do this type of thing. Otherwise, it'll be all over the place. So, there you go. That's one lip. How do you like this? This is more of the, the, the peachy color. And I'm not going to take it totally off, guys, for sake of time however then I want to play around with another color and excuse the the noise back there because I shared with you all last week that they were doing some work on the gas line and they still are I, I don't know if it's gonna be a summer long project or what okay so this one is a frost and this is the Riri Riri red now because I have that orange on this might come across as more of an orange I'm not sure but we're gonna put it on top of it I, I think that this is a nice summer color again if you go by that you know Now, this is more of a, uh, this has more red in it than uh, the Lady Danger. I like that. Tell me what you think about that. And that blends in nicely with this shirt as well. Now, here's the gloss. This gloss has some sparkle in it. Oh, that's pretty. And I just have that habit, guys. I, I know the lipstick matches with it, but I just have to wipe it off before I put it back in. Now, this is pretty. Because you could, and I don't know if it's coming up on the, on the um, camera or not, but you can really see the sparkles. Now, I think what I'm going to do is just take a little dab of this. Because you know, like I said, I didn't put on any um, blush. And just put it right there on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm going to blend that in a little bit better. But right there on the apples of my cheeks. And it gives you a nice little flush. I mean, in a pinch, guys, this will work. And then, if you're trying to go for that exact look to match your lip with your uh, cheek, and sometimes, you know, you can do that, then what better way than to use your lipstick as your cheek color? And so, how you think, how you, li how you like this? What, what you think about that? As I'm stuttering, I can't get it out. You know, I don't usually make videos at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> usually either late at night or in the middle of the day. So, tell me what you think. I like this one too. Alright, real quick and then I'm going to say bye. I have on Sterling Silver, um, kind of like a filigree, really light earrings because of this more feminine blouse with the floral print and the lace and then I have on a, a Lois Hill sterling silver ring that has kind of like a swirl let me come in close so you can see this I hate the fact that I have to that I have to um, manually manually focus with this there we go this is a, a Lois heel sterling silver ring and everything is is uh 
the beading around here is all handmade, all hand done. Really, really pretty. And all of her jewelry consists of this little bead design. And while I've got it up close there, let me see if I can come in close and you can see my lips. There you go. Okay, guys. Let me bring you back out. You know, I promise you the next time I get a camera, it's going to be autofocus because this is crazy with the little manual thing. I can't, I can't get with that, guys. Um, so yeah, that's it. And I will see you for NARS Tuesday with another Mommy's Day uh, makeup look. All right, guys, have a good day. Enjoy the warm weather. If you have warm weather, get out there and take advantage of it. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.